evening, ladies and gents. Welcome to this Facebook Live special with Nims and Thugs and Tung Fu. Um, so excited to bring you a live evening of spoken word performance, uh, or an evening of live spoken word performance, as you might say. Um, so I'm joined by Chris Redmond from Tung Fu. How are you doing, Chris? You all right? Hey, yes, I'm very good. Thank you, Matt. How are you doing? Two weeks and one day until your album comes out and the world will be a better place. Yeah, I know. It's uh, um, Yes, it's nearly there. Nearly there. It is. Very it excited. Is. We need it. As every day passes, we, the world sort of needs it more and more, I think. Um, <laughs> I, know. I, feel, I, I feel that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had it for the last three and a half years, but um, so I've already got it, but it will feel different when the world's got it as well, or at least well, a few people in the world. So we did an Insta session about, I don't know, a month ago and chatted about the album. Yeah. And then I interviewed you for our in 20s radio and we chatted <laughs> about the album. And no, but each time, like the world's getting a little bit more <laughs> fucked. Yeah, so like, messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even in between the, these three interviews, it's mad in it. How much it's changing. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. And uh, I think, I've been writing an introduction to the book of words that I'm putting together for the lyrics for the album and reflecting. The process is one of reflecting over the time that we've made it. And um, that was my intention it was like, I want to make something that makes me feel better about the madness in the world. Uh, that's why I want to do this, put some brilliant people together and uh, get them to shine some light. So there's some, balance to the bloody chaos yeah and it does it does i would like to confirm conclusively that it does the experiment yeah. has succeeded yes yeah absolutely absolutely and at the end of this event we're going to be speaking about a single that's released tomorrow uh, a collaboration a direct collaboration between them some folks and tung fu a track called birds um which i'm extremely yeah. extremely excited about and i know you are as well um so at the end yeah, of likewise. this we will chat about that um but yeah, we just wanted to put on an event that uh, I, I love doing live events with Nims and Thugs. Obviously, recently I've been doing them online. I love what you're doing with Tung Fu. So we just wanted to create this evening on Facebook Live to have some live performance and also to intersperse it with some of your shiny, sparkling videos as well. Because um, you can't do the Tung Fu band justice on Zoom, but you most certainly can in a studio. So we're going to share that. Um, what, what was it like making the videos? What was the process behind the videos? Is that something that you had to drastically change your plans? Or uh, No, that was always in the plans anyway, actually, that we wanted to make some videos for the tracks. Um, I think, uh, I think there, there might have been plans to incorporate more of the live playing at some point, but that wasn't really possible. So their, their animations, um, you know, largely... Uh, the first that one of them that we'll see later is is just me, my head, uh, disembodied Chris head, uh, and and then loads of like absolutely crazy animations flying around me, and then the other one is is more of a kind of lyric video with uh, loads of fan footage and weird effects and stuff like that. So um, yeah, been really interesting, really interesting to make stuff um, to accompany the work. Um, that's I've really enjoyed that actually we're doing more and more of that and the thing that we're doing with, with the birds thing that we'll talk about later is 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 another part of that and we're making quite a few films at the moment which will see the light of day in the coming months yeah yeah well this is what I was thinking that's why I asked about the videos because of the the elements of animation and like the lyric video and the compilation of fan footage it does seem like I don't I, I mean you might have done that anyway but it does seem like videos uh taking a different direction to what they would do normally which is obviously a good thing because it's making you think outside the box okay what can we achieve in this covid world and i just think yeah. it's fantastic yeah well, well i mean well, so when we do the shows at rich mix we nearly always have uh visuals improvised to go along with the improvised music um yeah and that's always been a part of it so it's a natural uh, building one of the tracks the one track that came out in september um and that really was an extension of his process that he does in the room and we're always mixing fan footage and kind of creating these collage stuff so um yeah it's weird that we have, so it's taken this long for us to actually 
make some pieces like that that just sit as standalone pieces. They that's the thing about Tung Fu is it's always been this ephemeral, uh, one night only project. Um, yeah. and we've only finally we've only finally now committed to making it. Uh, uh, you know, some documents of that of that process, I suppose. Um, well, yeah. necessity necessity is the mother of invention, and not Frank Zappa, as some people seem to think. Um, yeah. yeah, no, it's fantastic. I love it. Like, like we've spoken a few times about how this album, in a way, is the opposite of Tung Fu, but then at the same time, perfectly captures Tung Fu. And I guess, like you say, with the videos, it sort of just forced you to represent and reimagine. But it's just all, all for the better, really. So, yeah. Hmm. And for people who can't get to Rich Mix, uh, it's just a, a great insight into what you're doing, what you're about. Yeah. 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 Well, we've got ton, uh, you know, a gazillion live videos on YouTube and yeah. all over the world. You know, so, yeah, we sort of wanted to do something, something fresh. Yeah, man. Cool. Good. Well, I'm pleased that you did. That's It's awesome. Great. So am okay. I, Matt. So am I, yes. So, are you happy for me to do that strange thing where I read your own bio to yourself and then introduce you to me to read some poems? There's, there's nothing that I like more <laughs> than that, actually. I mean, I live for those <laughs> moments and they're few and far between at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, take as long as you like. I'll just right. I'll bask in the glory of my own self-aggrandizement. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are, these are, this is probably actually an abridged version of something that you wrote yourself as well that I'm reading back to you. So. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Redmond is a poet, musician, performer and producer, a regular at music and literature festivals. He's been featured on BBC Radio 1, 2 and 4, Radio X, CBBC and Sky Arts. His debut collection, Let the Pig Out, is published by Burning Eye and he is, of course, the artistic director of Tung Fu. So I'm going to put you on spotlight mode, turn my camera off and enjoy. Hooray. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, so uh, I have got a few bits and pieces that I'd quite like to share. Um, there's one or two um, new bits, short bits, one or two longer bits. So I um, thought I'd start with a short one. This is, uh, this is very much reflective of our experience in the digital world. This is called Disappearances. It must have been the poetry, too hot for the processor, too agile in its line break semaphore for all that binary. How the emptiness reaches in when mid Zoom class, the laptop switches into a void, black mouth yawning the quiet hum of fan, ticking of drive, 20 students vanish. That's that one. Awkward <laughs> moment. Nice awkward moments we've had those haven't we um i'm gonna do another uh this is another lockdown poem um yeah this is one which uh i did a little thing with this with the piano earlier on in the year which was quite nice but i'm not going to do it with piano now um <laughs> It's very, uh, we're just sort of in in the second little mini lockdown, aren't we? And let's hope it's a mini lockdown and it's not going to extend like the last one. Um, and it, it's, yeah, I, every day I have little conversations with myself to um, just sort of remind myself of the things I'm grateful for and uh, rather than, you know, the stuff that I'm frankly pissed off about. <laughs> um, this is called My Lucky. My lucky is a boat built with scrap wood, bed sheets, and a mouth full of half remembered shanties. We can sail her, or pajamas and ukuleles as we paddle and play. She'll hold our weight. I'll fashion a figurehead with a scarf, a pork pie hat, and flyers from last year's gigs. We'll call her Hope, lend her to neighbours when Spotify and Netflix run dry, when we've done all the jigsaws, when fresh bread is needed. If we sit still for long enough, we're bound to find stories in the paint flakes and cracks. My lucky is a window that frames the moon at night, clouds rolling over the hills, squirrel on the phone wire. If I keep my fingers in my ears and my phone off, it looks like beauty out there, head in the sand happiness. My lucky is a midnight walk, streets empty enough to hear my own footsteps, music through windows, laughter. TV, it's quiet enough to hear my own breathing. 
my lucky is my heart thumping me through each day a new moment a rush of spring a smile a kind word a planted seed a game of skipping a nurse a meal a life saved a life mourned a candle another candle another candle another candle my lucky is not a slum is not a one room family is not a communal well is not a 200 mile walk home is not a packed bus or a packed beach or empty pockets or a block of flats or a care home a plane of missing masks another night shift another ventilated choice my lucky is not a conspiracy theory my lucky is not my government my lucky is a prayer is a boat made of whatever we can give each other we'll call her hope and give lifts to whoever needs them yeah um, that was lovely that was so nice thanks man do you feel like you have to fill in there with some sort of response it's that sort of awkward thing where an audience would give a kind of some sort of ripple of acknowledgement or a, a clap or something but it's just me and you isn't it it's like yeah. 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 I. I mean, I, I, at first it was extremely weird, but I. I find it quite. I find it quite natural now. Um, no, it was. It was beautiful. I was only slightly delayed because I muted myself and I was frantically trying to no, unmute myself. Yeah. Pl please. I wasn't fishing for like. <laughs> no. 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 It's. It. Oh, it was. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. It's. It's a genuine sort of. It's. It, you know, acknowledgement of the weirdness. But you're lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So this is. Um. This is a short one. Um. I'm at home almost every day uh well uh, every day at the moment um and spending just tons of time with my daughters which i love most of the time uh and this just came out of a funny little conversation that i had with poppy the younger one she's seven it's called ants poppy says she can smell the ants a column marches the wall by the back door only when they're together she says sailing her seven-year-old nose inches from their choreography she whispers they smell of courgettes <laughs> i know right <laughs> children have such an acute sense of smell and she in particular has a really acute sense of smell and apparently a column of ants smells like courgettes <laughs> i love that yeah yeah why not um I uh, don't smell of anything to me. It just smells of the wall that they are crawling on. Hmm. So um, I've been spending a bit of time with a group of men around where I live um, in the woods. And it's already sounding a little <laughs> bit, uh, a little bit dodgy, isn't it? But um, uh, it, it's, a, it's a men's group and I've never been in a men's group before. Uh, in fact, I've always avoided men's group men's group activity uh and uh we meet and we gather around a fire and we um talk and it's a group called journeyman um who the idea is that we um create a solid group of blokes who can then act as kind of guides and mentors for young men uh making the passage from um uh kind of adolescence into into manhood um this is a poem that I wrote after a meeting. Yes, men. Yes, men. I need you. Guess when? Now, men. Can I breathe through this fire? A heart gathering us into its smoke memory, circle sitting. Hold me. I've never asked that of men before. Men groups scare me. Maybe because I see myself behind the mirror. Backslap, yes mate, banter or chest play, always some armour on, misremembered warrior song. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Been singing solo for too long. Strength is a number game, work hard to numb the pain, always wondering how do women do that? That pull together, tight knit, mercury rolling around each other, right fit, softness and strength in the heart song. My song is on stage my song is on page still solo on the way home though still life drawing myself i'm not a fruit bowl so here i am one of 17 
fireside, calling in the archetypes, warrior, lover, magician, king, these mechanics of maleness, masters of the medicine. I hear a lot of father talk, missingness in many ways. I hear all of the boys in us wishing mess would go away. All that bravado blows away when men make space to feel their pain. We need to feel the pain. We're so accomplished at boxing it in, loosen our ribs, exhale, know that to be male is a messy inheritance. And if we want to show strength, we need to acknowledge our shadows, speak to them and listen better. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Uh, and then, okay, so a couple more, and they're both uh, children related, actually. This one is a, uh, this is called, this, there's no other way to announce it. This is called Plastic Penis. Mm. Um, they stuff sand into water balloons to make testicles, plunge them into orange and red party balloon scrotums. <laughs> Lula splits the long rubber neck and ties it around the base of her plastic tube from an ice lolly penis, complete with marigold glove finger foreskin. <laughs> DIY genitals, stand up wheeze, now with added balls for effect. Poppy's penis is lost amongst the bedroom bombscape of toys. She will have to settle for just cupping for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they they wanted to be able to stand up and do wee, so they um they they made these willies out of um I think it's like a smarty ice lolly, oh, and inside there's a little plastic tube with a kind of with a wider bit there that they can just about get over there, and uh, and actually you know it works they, like we've made a little hole in the end and they can wee through it, but then Lula wasn't satisfied that actually wanted a foreskin, so we got we got some marigold gloves and <laughs> cut the finger off. Nice. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then in the summer it was like, no, we want some balls now as well. So uh, they did a bit of experimenting and came up with them. Um, yeah, came up with the uh, sand in in a water balloon scrotum ball. Impressive. impressive. So uh, one more. Yeah, yeah, it works. It's it's a fun experiment. Um, uh, this is one more. This is from my book. Let the yep. pig out. Uh, uh, yeah, this is. This is another child poem. This is my life at the moment. I'm fully in family mode and it's a really nice balance to the sort of quite intense political soul searching mode of the album. This is called yeah. Fires. Talking loud in multiple voices, we trade tumbles, tickle, spin. They climb me, fearless, joy spitting from their mouths in reckless bubbles, speech abandoned to high pitched squeaks. They slap my back, Squeeze my head, leap at me over and over, like every charge is bellowing. We've got now, Daddy. We've got this. Come on, let us bite you. Let's blow spit bubbles. You be Alicia Keys. We'll ride a horse. Her name's Pam Pam. Let's go to the beach, to the atmosphere, to the wolf's cave. Careful, he's completely hungry. <laughs> when they are young women, we will go out drinking, and they'll leave me in the dust, smiling through tears as I wave and watch them set fire to the night. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's me. That's me for tonight. Thank you, Matt. That was fantastic. I shall raise mm. a pint to that. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, dude. Cool. So we're going to follow that up with a video to boat, boat building, which, as you've said, has got your head uh, floating around with all kinds of things going around it. It's a fantastic video. Um, so, yeah, boat building. I read myself to sleep, phone apocalypse, late night, blue light, news feed for scripture. It's hard to rest when everything you read tells you the ship is listening. We're springing leaks, but the captain and the crew aren't listening. We're smiling while fighting, teeth the color of ambition. Now even in my dreams, I'm rescuing children from floods and liars. Turn the ship around, please turn the ship around. Does anyone else even know how to steer it? Gold yachts, poison plots, treasure chest beaters, clean suits and arms dealer dinners. 
oil, aftershave, and families torn like cheap meat. Rebels and rubble, power in a bubble, cliches littered like dog turds, strobe light news cycle, squandered blood, auctioned hopes, sinking boats, hymns, songs for the dead, prayers, headlines, hymns, fires, footballers, celebrities in the jungle, gossip on the blind side. If you blink and cover your ears, you'll miss the bodies like flotsam, drowning and burning, falling and running. I mean, the seas rising to meet us, the clocks running down and buck passing, lack like a lock and key, the clocks running down, privilege like a lock and key, the clocks running down and hymns and news feed and news speed, the clocks running down and news speed and news speed, the clocks Running down and you speed and you speed Running down and you speed down I need to see And in the dream A creature comes to me She has the body of a griffin Heart of the blackest ocean, voice Nina Simone. She crushes my phone with her piano key talons. Hey, hey, I say, hey, but the ship, what you the ship is sinking, and that was my window. Come on, that's mine, please. Give it back. She says, windows are only as good as the view they frame. I say, but the clock's running down, the clock's running down, you know, news feed and news. She says, imagine another ship, a different ship, tall mast, oars, sails, a figurehead. A boat built only from breath And the smoke from yesterday's fires She says paint it in whatever colours you imagine love to be She says breathe in, stand on the deck Listen to the warmth of the wind in the canvas The groan of masts, the clatter of rigging Sit on one of the long benches And notice the others sitting with you I look around And everywhere People are rowing Singing as they do Bus drivers, nurses, poets, tight rope walkers. She says, now, row. Press the oars into your palms. Feel the weight of waves. Foam on skin and blue belly below. And row. OK. Breathe. Yeah. Row. Breathe. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Facebook Live. My name is Matt Abbott from Nimson Thugs, and I am joined by Chris Redmond and Amira Leon. How are you both doing? Hello. Hello. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. Uh, uh, lovely to see you, Matt. Lovely to see you, Amira. I haven't seen you all of this year, uh, so it's all I know, right? So <laughs> it's a, it's wonderful to see your smiling face in the sunshine. Yeah. You know, it is so wonderful. New York has received another spring, you know, and I'm just, I, you know, got to take the go with the bad. I'm very honored to be here with y'all and in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I've only ever seen you in the sun, Amira. I saw you at Shambhala Festival last year and it was incredible and it was beautiful, sunny. And when I first yes. saw you in London, it was a sunny day as well. You always, it's always sunny when you're around. It's nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. That makes me so happy. <laughs> wow, Shambhala was a time. That was a really special performance. Um, that was, such oh, a that was probably such a my weekend. last, my last festival. Honestly, I think I had maybe one festival after Shambhala last year. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, wow. same. Okay. I think I think that's it. I think you're right. That was the last time I entered into that peculiar world. Yeah. Wow. wow. Good one to go out on. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the Tung Fu album is out in two weeks or so. Uh, how are you both feeling mm, about it? 27th Amir, of November. Yeah, Amira, you've been involved in it for a couple of years, right? The making of the album. 
Well, it's just crazy because I, you know, making my own album, I know how scattered it is and how much energy goes into like compiling people. So for this being a compilation album entirely, you know, it's like, it's been a, a, a huge kaleidoscope process. You know, there was like this visceral like month when, you know, three years ago where we, everything we did and all we talked about was this record. And then our lives evolved and landscaped and snowballed into so many different things. So it's kind of just like really special to be here because I did my recordings, I did my part, very visceral, high intensity, and then I let it go, you know? So it's been like a, a huge return. I let it go because my, my part was done, you know? And so it's like really a, a little, a gift to have something, especially in this time, land that is a past version of my spe myself speaking things that are still true to this day that were continued to be worked on and cultivated without me, you know? So it's really cool. I've never had this experience, honestly. So shout out to you, Chris, for doing all the work the whole time. <laughs> um, and for dealing with my crazy schedule. You're an icon. <laughs> yeah, how, how are you, you feeling? How are you feeling about it all, yeah. Chris? Like two two weeks to go. How are you um, feeling? I'm feeling just really just content with it. Um, it has been a hustle. Uh, and creatively, it has been nothing but um, like inspiring all the way through. I'm also dealing with the logistics of it all and just like putting it all together. And that's a different part of my brain, which I can do. And I, I'm happy to do it in service of the vision, but uh, yeah, finally being able to hear it all is, is really gratifying. And, you know, I know that that for you, Amira, that was, you know, we had like a month or two where we, did a load of writing together. There was a bunch of us in the room. Then we had a couple of recording sessions and yeah. And then for, for some of you who are on the record, that was it. And you kind of done yeah. your bit. And then that, like Rian and I particularly, who's been producing it with me uh, and doing a lot of the, a lot of the work, we've just been sitting with it and just, I feel like I'm just inside everyone, yeah. <laughs> everyone's work so much. Um, that, and I think I was I've sort of been writing about it a little bit this week and just something you just said Amira I was it, it was sort of it reminded me of something I wrote this morning and it was just like we started writing this uh it was the it was the year like Brexit had happened Trump had just got in uh and now we're sort of you know we're sort of at the other end of that kind of term of a presidency and it's like this is a snapshot of three and a half years and yet pretty and it's quite a political album uh and yet everything that we were writing about unfortunately is still as relevant now mm. if not more so um and you know that that was i think it was a bit of a fear is like you know if we i think we even talked about it it's like if we write too specifically about two specific events does that mean the album only kind of sits in in one particular time and i think it was you amir who said to me no do you know what you have to kind of you have to write it as it is uh and 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 then it just lives for that that moment but actually this moment has continued stretching on and i think yeah. it really it, listening to the album now it's like wow this is a snapshot of three years because it has taken yeah. that, that that long to kind of ferment and grow and uh and settle and some of the some of the work there's a track on there with Disraeli and and Kwaku Saki who who is this brilliant Ghanaian rapper who lives up in Sheffield and they've just written something this summer so it's like that's the sort of arc there's there's a big mm. bit of work at the beginning and then like little bits of tweaking working changing editing recording people in you know in the, recording anthony in his office recording <laughs> recording yeah. vanessa backstage at a gig and just like these little bits um yeah fun process wow. super intense, <laughs> intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 well congratulations ah! it does sound amazing i'm excited for other people to listen to it you know i think there's this it was a really interesting uh reflection and listening because i was like whoa i've grown exponentially mm. since this moment mm. you know and and not anything nothing about the version of myself that i was or am on this record it was just surreal right to be like this is news to some and this is this is 
uh, a reflection of a version of myself that I no longer am, who spoke with such specific uh, eloquence. You know, I was like, wow, that's me. Like even transcribing, um, whoa, what just happened? Are y'all there? Yeah. Yeah, you just picture just your name. Hmm. I think you're coming Here you come in now. There we go. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Um, but yeah, just like even, you know, listening to the lyrics again and really listening and, and trying to understand, like you said, like this was the beginning of this very different era, um, this boiling point of, of you know, both of our, our realms, you know, the US and the UK have reached quite the boiling point mm. and that boiling never stopped, you know? And so it is, it was really beautiful to just look at the words and be like wow this is something that I still resonate with and it felt like you know like the ghosts of you know that like my past that said oh here's this thing that you know you will need in the future hmm. and it's so clear you know like I am the one who would say this I was literally like ah excuse me I would write this today but also I, I'm so glad that I already wrote it like um <laughs> so shout outs to you for capturing I mean and it's also just crazy when you look at our um our careers too like everybody's exponentially different exponentially in a completely different place than they were um mm. and it's just amazing to see how much growth has occurred just outside and beyond and with this album as it was being cultivated so again congratulations because mm. it's kind of like you know it's a very big deal to have something that this sacred be released now you know and it's a beautiful decision and i'm just really glad that you get to have this moment please don't listen to it for like three weeks and then return after she's been in the world with the people because you deserve mm -hmm. that space and you deserve to return. Um, and I'm so excited to talk to you in like two months time in 2020, in, in February, like, hey, how's it feeling? You know, because it's a huge deal. So congratulations again. Oh, thank you. Um, but yes, okay. <laughs> Y'all gotta see this sun too. Yeah, please go that's on. Just that's stunning. Ah, uh, where are you? Prospect are you? Park, Prospect, Prospect Park. Park in Brooklyn. Yeah, mm. amazing. Yeah, I'm in East London, a long, long way away. Whereabouts are you, Chris? Long I'm in. Uh, I'm in Somerset. Somerset. Yeah, beautiful. Look at us yeah. drinking uh -huh. cider. <laughs> drinking cheap beer from the corner <laughs> shop. Cool. Okay, uh, so if you're, if, if you're happy, Amira, I'll read a little, uh, a very short intro to you and then pass it over to you to do a set. Does that sound good? Amazing, yes. Cool. Perfect. Okay, um, Amira Leon is a musician, playwright, author and activist, a graduate of NYU's Tisch School of Arts. Her work fuses music and poetry through powerfully transparent performances, focusing on social inequalities, communal healing, while celebrating love, blackness and womanhood. Please give it up for Amira Leon. Ah! Ah! <laughs> um, hello, everyone. Again, as if I haven't been speaking. Um, I'm very excited to be here and to do some poems for you. Um, I am going to be reading a few pieces from my brand new book, Concrete Kids. Yeah. It just, yeah, it just came out yeah. um, wow. a few weeks ago. And so, and I will be doing a piece from the iconic Tung Fu Records. So I'm going to end with that piece. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> um, okay. So, ah, this is so exciting. Poems in the sun. Okay. Mm. This is for the concrete kids, the kids with a melanin kiss, the kids drenched in poverty, the kids who are told to cut their hair to tame their tone, the kids who are told to shorten their names and disappear their tongues, the kids who are told they will amount to nothing, the smart kids who are told they are problematic, the problematic kids who are told they are stupid, the kids who are taking care of their families in between extracurriculars, the kids who cannot go to extracurriculars because they are taking care of their families. The stoop kids, the hungry kids, the thirsty kids, the foster kids, the kids who age out of the system, the missing kids, the homeless kids, the kids in jail, the kids who are waiting trial, the innocent kids, the kids who never got to be kids, 
the kids navigating the violence of hands, the kids who are being taught to fear themselves, the kids who refuse, the kids in gangs, the kids thinking about joining gangs, the kids who started them, the adults they became, the adults who wait for the blood to dry out in the sun with the laundry, the kids who bury the adults, the adults who bury the kids, the angels they became, the angels they will become. More specifically, this is for the boy in the white tee and the breath I saw escape him. Wow. Wow. Stunning. That is the introduction. Um, yeah, this book really just dives into uh, my journey, like being aged 13. I was just adopted, just moved to, like, I had been living in Harlem for a few years and was surrounded by violence and celebration, you know, and there's no way to discuss, you know, my people or my, my city or Harlem in any way without discussing its wonder. You know, there's a lot of turmoil. There's, you know, and I think that that's something that I've noticed a lot in this world. Like I said earlier, you know, the, it seems to be at the height of, of, of turbulence is where you have the most grace for life, you know? And so I wanted to create a space where we could look at the turbulence and also um, really just ignite the, the, the grace, you know? Um, so this is another piece. This is, we are all saints. Self-love is the process of becoming safe in your body, saying hello to the softest parts of you come morning, behind the ears, the knees, under your chin, the soles of your feet, creating a temple out of your skin, laughing with yourself in the mirror until you feel whole again, basking in the sacred nature of your heartbeat and your ribs, Vaseline and scripture forever kept on your lips, we are all saints. It is only a matter of worship. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I'm just going to keep doing a few, you know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is infestation. There's a war. There's a war. There's a war. There's a war. There's a war one that suffocates language before it has a chance to escape us, one that aims to shift the DNA of our kingdom as we sleep. Come morning, they will call our confusion amnesia, call our amnesia a joke, rewrite the reality and tell us what we need to know as their quiet laughter dismantles the walls of our home. There's a war, there's a war, there's a war, there's a war. Entire neighborhoods, entire countries, entire generations will die fighting. There will be blood. There will be blood. There will be blood. There will be blood. Everyone knows the scent will eventually cradle its way into our nostrils. The same way roaches become a part of the family and the entree. They sold the empty lot on Madison where we often play and devour chubbies and peanut chews after school. The drilling has begun and the entirety of 109th Street is entirely newly infested with cat rats and roaches, the kind that multiply and the kind that fly. Apparently they are turning our little corner of paradise into a condom for the rich, luxury apartments for those who can afford it and a Dunkin' Donuts in the lobby for everybody else. America may run on Duncan, but El Barrio runs on Bustelo, so trust. Munchkins and 99 cent iced coffee will never be enough to soften the blow. No one knows how long it will take for them to build, but we all got our eyes on the overgrown lot on Fifth, and we know what's coming. Despite the scarcity and the occasional hunger, we live in abundance. There is no sense in living otherwise. We are holy in our hand-me-downs and joyous in the pantry line. We never let ourselves get consumed with what we do not have. We rejoice in the reality of what we do. There is no way to discuss Harlem's wonder without its struggle and no way to mention its struggle without its celebration. Depending on the day, you could find Harlem somewhere between Eden and a war zone. Hmm. Oh, wow, yeah. 
<laughs> Last lines. Uh, poof. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Mm. <laughs> It was so, it's so different having poems in a book, man. Like mm. I've, I've printed books before, but again, I was so different then. Um, and it's really special to be, you know, to understand, oh, this is going to live long beyond me. Hey, just mm. like that record. It was like, whoa, these words will come back and come back and come back. And mm. there'll be people who return and return and return. There'll be people who will read it and forget. Ain't that something, you know? Um, it's so beautiful how ephemeral art is, but how everlasting it is too, you know? Mm. Um, and it's like amazing to be in nature right now with my feet in the soil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, you know, the world, we are creations too, you know? And I, it's, it's a holy thing to be in a body that I just arrived in. And then to be able to look at my artwork and see like, oh my God, these are bodies that I chose like for my soul to live in, you know? And so like a record or a book or any of these things where you're like, this is my, this is a piece, this is a limb. It's a limb beyond me. It's a limb I chose, you know? Um, so it's really special. I'm, gonna, I'm excited to be sure. I'm going to read one more from Concrete Kids and then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to read um, another one. So I got two more for y'all. Is that okay? Yes, please. Cool. Perfect. Amazing. Um, actually, let me see. Actually, I like this one. Okay, this is called Coat Hanger Boy. Coat Hanger Boy smiles with teeth meant for grinding. A meat kind of boy hanging from the tree. What a popular place to be. How metal becomes the bones of a child when they're forced to watch their father die and die and die again and again. As the world says, watch this till you understand grabbing their picnic blankets and their favorite snack to watch the public lynching of an innocent man as his name becomes another hashtag. Our melanin, a wink to the constant mourning. We do not wear black. Can't take it off after lunch, after after dinner, after they kill us, we ain't nothing but nigger. An afterthought, a marginalized depiction of what God forgot. Can't just decide to be saved. Wake up every day with the weight of racism anviling on our chests with a loose noose round our neck. There is no escape in this. They made a habit out of it, out of watching things die. Stargazing black bodies in the night sky. God is nigh, God is here, God is laughing up there at the family reunion, as Jesus and his sand skin prepare the gates for the welcoming, fills the basin with the very water his sister, aunt, cousin, brother, mother, father, son, and daughter have been drowning in, ready to wash them callous feet of the nigga who died again and again, waiting on the world to praise him. They've been celebrating our death for 2,000 years. We shouldn't be surprised that they made of us the sacrifice. Us, tangible disciples of the Lord, got the earth in our inheritance, made slaves out of us because we're the only ones who know how to take care of it. That don't mean we ain't tired. That don't mean we asked to be, but we is, we here. You're gonna have to kill me. Hmm. Wow. And how about, actually I'm gonna do one more and there it is. This one is called Morning Dew. Oh, you hear the siren? Mm. Yeah. New York City. There's mm. always a miracle or an emergency nearby. <laughs> <laughs> um, morning Dew. Today, what a solemn hymn. Today, I woke again. Blood flowing through my veins into the quiet of the ocean. I dreamt myself alive, and when I opened my eye, I danced with my reflection. I cradled the sky. Today, what a solemn hymn. Today, I woke again in my holy, in my black skin, knowing liberation. My hopes are high, somewhere with the bird's eye, easing the tide. Today, 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 is the only thing I know for sure. My past is water under the bridge, and tomorrow is for the angels to gift. But today, today, 
today. Today, mm. I live. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you. Beautiful. Hungry kids. Yeah. It's me. It's literally me, though. That is amazing. <laughs> Please Beautiful. get her. You can get it in all bookstores. Here she is with the sun. <laughs> When did um, when did know. this come out? It was in the last few weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, it came out with Penguin on the fourteenth of October. Amazing. So it's it's a wee bb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and my other book, Freedom We Sing, just came out as well uh, in July. And my new album, Witness, is with the world. So please go listen to it right after you listen to the Tung Fu album. Go dive in. <laughs> what a year for um, you what a year for you it's amazing the craziest it would have been the it would have been the most mobile i've ever been yeah. in my whole life i would have been all <laughs> over the damn world you know something it's something really so surreal to to have such massive releases you know you're working on something for three years and suddenly yeah. it's here and you're at home in your living room and you're like wow this is the tour is on zoom yeah, right? <laughs> i'm so glad to be streaming in italy from my living room <laughs> you know so even i'm glad i might have to start doing this though because the outdoor moment is really where it's at can you hear me? Right. it's great yeah i can hear you ducks can hear me too. i can hear you ducks can hear you Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you guys, everybody so much for having me and congratulations again, Chris. Thank you. My um, friend. I am going to read. Oh, I'm so in love with this piece. I'm so glad I made it. Um, I'm going to read a piece from the Tom Fu album. It is called <laughs> I Am the One Who Would Save. I call on the siren sound for guidance. Water fills the lungs of the daughter who has worn her fingertips. Reckoning fills her lungs with soot. Everything about her is black and missing, somehow angry. They never let her tell them the way she would invite a kinder blessing. I am the one who would save the ocean from itself. I am the one who would save. Too often, I feel, running on empty. I manifest the moon as my armor and begin the journey home, a place that is riddled with significant dreams, kept in insignificant bodies, every body a pawn for the thought of freedom, every siren song a riot encased in joy, tinged with the wounds of a crimson so violent it challenges the sun at its, at its rise. I am the one who would save. I am the one who would save. I am the one who would save the ocean from itself. A roar in the night will find me curious, will find me knee deep in soil, begging for the moon to consume me, always looking to be consumed. We forget how quickly the tide will come. I am the one, I am the one. I am the one. I am the one who would save, but no one will give me credit. I am the one. I am the one. I am the one. I am the hero in every context. I am the nigger in every context. I am the answer to every prayer. I am the fear in your daughter's eyes. I am the one they said would not be. They tried to stop the earth from dancing, but I, I did not comply. I, I am the one, I am the one who would save the ocean from itself. I am the one. Oh, I love Sing. that piece. Unbelievable. I love it so much. I was like, ah, who is she? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Who is she? Yeah, you know. And, and the music that sits with that is just this sort of oceanic jazz and you just <laughs> you there sail you over the waves of it. Um mm -hmm. oh, it's so nice to hear you do that piece. I know. I was like, ooh. Mm. Look what we have here. Um <laughs> but yes, thank you so much. Wow. The, um, I'm so happy to be here. The pandemic has been horrendous in many ways, but seeing you perform that set 
on selfie mode from Prospect Park in Brooklyn as one of the highlights <laughs> of like that's just phenomenal and that wouldn't have happened Look otherwise. Trees, so. darling. Yeah, Here's every cl- every cloud. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite the silver lining. Yeah. Uh, wow. In the world together. Incredible. Um, thank you so much, y'all. You are loved. You are sacred. You are holy. Build celebration in this time. Make yeah. it feel like it would have felt with hundreds of people around you. Yeah. It's a hard thing. But remember that. It's not about the streams. It's not even about these interviews. It's not even about one other person listening to this. It's about you knowing that mm-hmm. your intention has been gifted to the world. And what does that feel like, you know? So I'm just sending that energy to you because I know, I know you are a very dedicated person. And so I just want to make sure that you get to really dance in this moment. Um, So thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you so much. They're beautiful words. It's so lovely to see you and hear your poems. Thank you. Good luck with the book. And, And you're going to Barbados. I am indeed. I'm going to go write my next book and I'm going to work on a documentary about liberation. Um, Barbados is getting their liberation. Independence Day. Uh, You know, not a free, not a free, not free. Next year they will be. So I'm going to talk to people about that and to spend some time with my dear friends and really just dive in. So I'm excited. More to yeah. come, family. But for now, please dive into this album. It's beautiful. And please check in on all the work I'm doing. Follow, do all those things. But yes, I will see you all so soon. Take care. Soon. Perfect. Take care. Cheers. Bye. 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 Love started all of this. I say petrol, you say gasoline. So, how come some love says some grass is more green? Or some hearts are unclean? Or some past kneels to the wrong queen? Cheeks get slapped, she's shook goaded. Tinderbox tongues locked and loaded. Faith in flames, faith is flag. Blocked, strip searched, told it's wrong. Then love is bitter ash. Bomb, mosque, bomb, synagogue, bomb. Pop concert, a torn sleeve, a child face, dust and blood, wailing mothers again, grief like oil in the throat. Gasoline kisses from explosive men, making of me a garden, a battlefield, a question. Kiss and misses, all us. Favorite karaoke song. Dancing queen fills up armories. An arms dealer on a pinball machine. Scatter shot. The apple drops. Or was it a grenade? Is it a stem or a pin that lays on the ground? Wait for a sound. Ricochet. What's it say on the ticker tape? Same shit, different day. What causes more explosions? Gasoline or apathy? Shatterproof glass menagerie Nobody's chosen to fight A stone in a hand A drone in the sky A home in a land Hope is a light Gasoline kisses From explosive men Making of me a garden A battlefield A question Kiss and misses All us and them Making of me a cemetery A vigil A blessing Learn to make games of the rubble Shake the dust, to hide shrapnel in laughter, scatter shots, to scream, dream, and dance to a war they made far away, wrapped and sold in flag and country. But here there are names, only names, too many to utter, too soon to forget. Learn how spinal cords shaking over wreckage play a violin prayer out loud. Pray the world to listen, to sometimes just stop. Pray the latest rubble.
rubber bullet is not a child's eye. Learn. Prayer can also ricochet. Prayer can ricochet off buildings no longer standing, and hills that have seen too much. Here there are names and prayers, only names and prayers. Too many to utter, too soon to forget. 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 Gasoline from explosive men, making of me a god. So that was the video to Scattershock, um, which is a beautiful video, a beautiful track, and it's available right now on Bandcamp, and it's a pound or more. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pound, but if you're rich, you know, you fancy supporting it. We're actually raising money at the moment, so the, 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 we have the sales for that particular song are going towards uh, a charity called Humanity and Inclusion, uh, who have a, a campaign called Stop Bombing Civilians. Um, so obviously the, the track is uh, about uh, weapons and their yeah. misuse and in lots of different ways. And um, is there a proper use for weapons? Like any mis any use of a weapon is... Anyway, so um, we just want to do something useful with that, you know, um, rather than just put out a song that goes, this is bad, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. But um, uh, so, yeah, if you feel like, you know, putting a quid into the pot, you'll get a great track and you'll get uh, the warm feeling of having supported a charity that is doing great work with people who suffer at the hands of horrible people. Yeah, which leads us uh, sort of to the next thing that we're going to talk about. Uh, so Dim Sun Thugs and Tung Fu are collaborating on a single. Uh, the single's out tomorrow. Um, it's a track called Birds, which features uh, Vanessa Kasule, Holly McNish and Selena Godden and the yeah. Tung Fu Band, of course. Um, it's available to pre-order now and all of the profits are being donated to an organisation called Black Minds Matter UK. Um, so Black Minds Matter UK's mission is to connect black individuals and families with free mental health services um, by professional black therapists to support their mental health. Um, to make mental health topics more relevant and accessible for all black people in the UK, uh, removing the stigma and remodelling the services to be relevant for the black community. Um, so we're releasing this track. So it's just Tung Fu and Dim Sum Fugs have come together, but we're releasing it to raise funds for Black Minds Matter UK. So as I said, all of the profits are going to be donated to Black Minds Matter UK. Um, so this track, uh, tell us about the history of the track or and how it came about. Yeah, so um, we got some funding from the Arts Council um, back in the sort of late spring, early summer, uh, and we wanted to make some new work. So we commissioned a bunch of different poets, and uh, this was one of them. So uh, the brief was pretty open to start with. Um, Vanessa came up with a verse first, and it was very much about, I think it was taken from this sort of, sense of stillness and sitting at your window and looking out and reflecting maybe trying to find some some joy and solace in the in the peculiar uh, and and complicated time that we're in yeah. uh holly responded to that selena responded to that and um I mean, you don't have to go too far before you tie anything into sort of a, a being about mental health at the moment, do you? Because it's no. it's all pretty, it's all it's all pretty vulnerable, and we're you know we're all in a slightly different heightened heightened state um, as a result. And and so then Selena had the idea of doing something uh, again. You know, it's that same it's the same impulse. It's like let let's make it worth something more in the world than here's a lovely piece of art there's there's loads of wonderful wonderful pieces of art that are going out into the world and if we're privileged enough to be able to be in receipt of a little bit of funding to make these things then wouldn't it be great you know we've already been paid to do that work we don't need anything 
back from that now but we've made a really lovely thing and if we can then make that thing do more work in the world and be of some use and be of some service um, and it has been such a challenging year for everyone but particularly like for black people for brown people for anyone facing like that what has gone on in america this year has just been horrific and then obviously that that throws up all sorts you know all sorts of um complicated relationships and complicated discussions and complicated emotions and so yeah if we can yeah. if we can contribute in some way to helping people who need to navigate that then great yeah, absolutely. I was chatting to Selena on the phone and she said that she saw an interview with Terence Hayes, you know, the, the US poet Terence Hayes. And he said that all of a sudden you're completely rethinking who are you writing poems for? Like, who are you speaking to? What are your poems doing? Who, who's your audience? And like, hmm. obviously, like you say, with what happened with the murder of George Floyd, everything's just changed. And you do immediately think about your audience and what, what's actually the purpose of this poem, like you say, so rather than it just being a nice piece of art, okay, how can we use that to make a difference? And so the fact that you've done that with Scattershock and obviously now we're doing it with birds, it just feels like the obvious thing. It doesn't feel like, you know, people might accuse you of virtue signaling or whatever, but it's it's, not, it's, it's just the right thing to do, isn't it? It just is. Um, well, it's just like, we, we've got a platform. It's a little yeah. platform, but we've got one. And why, why would we not use it, you know, to, Absolutely. to try and do some good in the world like it's great we make art that's that's amazing um but if you can attach some extra kind of help to it then then why wouldn't you do it yeah like you're saying we're in a privileged position to be able to do so partly thanks to arts council england like, and obviously a lot of people who survive on their art um who can't afford to donate it to charity that's that's not a criticism it's just because we're in a lucky position to be able to do so so yeah no i'm really really, really honored um, that that we're able to release that on our label and to partner up with Black Minds Matter UK and to partner up with Tung Fu, of course. Um, so all it's around, great, it's a really nice, it's a really nice yeah. mix. It's a really yeah. nice mix. Yeah. And the track, the track which we're about to hear, it's just beautiful. It's really so beautiful and powerful, and the way that the band just have elevated it, and well, mm. just to have uh, Vanessa and Holly and Selena, like I know, right? Yeah, yeah, it's God, quite it's a trio. Just, yeah, it's mad. It's mad. So, um, and we've had some artwork specially commissioned by a, a really talented artist called Cypher Rayman, who's doing a who's doing a um, a beautiful illustration for the artwork. So it's all just this beautiful little collaborative piece, a bit of solidarity, Wonderful. a bit of love, and a bit of support. Um, so yeah, Absolutely. we're going to play the brand new video to this track. It's available to pre-order now. It comes out at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. This is Birds. You ever hung at the waist from an unwashed window, got wind drunk, spring blossom tipsy, tongue out to taste the flavor of air this still? Lately, I've been vibing with wagtails. They've got the lolloping hydraulics of Snoop Dogg's car in the Still Dre video. There's a goofy magpie that flirts with me on lucky cloud-strewn mornings. He acts like he owns the sky. They all do. Do they feel free without the thick exhaust of human chatter, our prep crumbs and post-club potato shrapnel? Our ghost towns are their playgrounds. Play on, Mr. Wagtail. Play on. The pavement owes me nothing. The flowers, the ponds, the wasps with revenge in their asses owe me nothing. Their beauty a gift, my presence a glimmering happenstance. Have you ever eaten crisps at a funeral? Crunching brazenly as the vicar starts the speech skyped into your living room. There is no need to wear black, now nobody can see you sobbing loudly as a choir that is not allowed to sing. The world outside my window owes me absolutely nothing, but it sang for me that day. Two pigeons on the gate kissed. Goldfinch feasted on the hollyberries. Starlings chatted in the air. Blue tits tapping in the trees. 
wiping salt from soggy cheeks in time with every tear. Have you ever hung all your hopes out like washing on the line and then watch the sky darken with rain? There's no need to wear black, but you do, and it hides nothing and holds your weather inside. In the dead of night, you catch yourself falling the next morning, you rise and sing, I owe you everything. The best of me, at least we owe each other that. Dawn chorus, first light. The blackbird call is loudest of all. A million feet march to beating drums. You hold a book like a map. The writer reminds you we've been here before and there is another road. Follow the river of tears and of survival and of endurance and of love and courage. The clouds will pass and all your hopes are birds with songs that are true and free. That was Birds uh, by Tung Fu, featuring Vanessa Kasuli, Holly McNish, and Selena Godden. It is released on the Nymphs and Thugs label. It's available to pre-order now. It'll be on Bandcamp exclusively until the new year. So through Bandcamp, you get the video, um, a little PDF with the words, and we get a lot more of the cut. And as I said before, we're donating all of the profits to Black Minds Matter UK. So please buy it through Bandcamp and enjoy it and spread the love. Um, yeah, that was Birds. So. Uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. It's been wonderful to see all your comments and little love hearts and stuff. It's been fantastic. Um, thank you to Omira, who was with us. And also thank you to you, Chris, and Tung Fu for supporting thank us. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, it's been buzzing. I've had a really, really good night. And uh, yeah, I, I feel I feel it's lovely to chat with you. Thank you. Yeah, you too, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> cool. Take care. Bye.